Kadivas Robinson here, eight-time national champion, the champion's champion, an Olympian. I'm here today with Pro Tips for You, and I'm going to show you some strengthening exercises that complement your running. Now remember, everyone runs, everyone goes out and does this, this, the same type of running. Some people lift weights, but what I'm going to show you now is a different type of running that assists your running. I have four athletes with me today. I have Kareem right here, Denisha, Drew, and Bobby. We're going to show you a variety of different drills. Remember, the way they're going to do the drills is going to be similar to their body types. Everyone has a different body type. So whenever you're doing the drills, it's related to your body type. The key is, is to always hold form. All right, the first drill I'm going to show you guys is going to be with Bobby. Bobby's going to do pike. So what I'm going to do is, you're just going to listen to my voice, and you can see him doing the exercises as I speak. Bobby, we're going to do th five pikes and then hold. The key with pike it's contracting your stomach muscles. Okay, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. This is actually not easy. His stomach is contracted. It's very tight. Now we're going to ask Bobby to do one push-up. Pick your right leg up and hold. Right leg down. Left leg up. Left leg down. Down. You're finished. Now that looks easier than it really is. That's very difficult. But what you're doing is when you're piking, you hold your body extremely tight and it's all your core. This allows you to, when you're standing up, to make sure your core is tight and you hold your body in a great position. Everyone can't do the push-ups on that and actually the pikes are very difficult. This is an advanced level. But I wanted you to see how it looks in advanced level. When you start, you can just start in a regular, push, regular position on the ball. Roll up on the ball. Bobby, I'll roll up on the ball. And you can hold that position and, and, and lift your right leg or left leg. But the important part is we always are going to increase and improve into the pike. That's the first exercise I wanted to show you guys. The second one is with Drew. This is an overall body workout. And what you're going to do is you're going to always keep the right hand up or the left hand up depending on which, weight, which hand you have the weight in. Drew's going to go down. He's going to flatten out. And he's going to come back up as quickly as possible. Drew's going to do three. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. He made it look easy, but guys, believe me, those two exercises we just showed you are very difficult exercises. That is an overall body exercise. You can do it with your brother. You can do it with your sister, your mom, your dad. They don't have to have a weight in their hand. They don't have to go as fast. But once you try it, you'll see the improvements, believe me. The next exercise I'm gonna have with Denisha. Denisha doesn't really need the ball, but what we're gonna do is she's gonna go down to push-up plank, just regular push-up plank. What's important on this push-up plank is to have your body straight and flat, straight and flat. Okay, with that, Denisha, I want you to lift your right leg. She's lifting her right leg, and as you notice, her hips didn't drop when she lifts her right leg. That's very important, right leg down, Lift your left leg. She lift her left leg, her hips still didn't drop. Make sure your body stays strong and in position when you're lifting each leg. Left leg down, one push up. Perfect. Down, Denisha. So Denisha just did the push up plank position in which she kept her body straight, she kept her body strong, and she didn't, um, her hips didn't drop, her, her hips didn't flop. She made sure she stayed in that position. What I'm going to do with Kareem, I'm going to go through a whole different rotation. And he's going to do it. He has a bigger body, bigger levers, which is levers like this, levers like this. But he's still going to hold. Kareem, you're going to go into push-up plank. Strong position, strong bodies. This is like a leg of a table. So, Kareem, I want you to lift your right arm. Right arm down. Left arm, left arm down, right leg, right leg down, left leg, left leg down. Push up, one push up. Now this is the difficult one, and it's difficult for him also. I'm going to ask Kareem to lift his right arm and his left leg. It's all core, guys. Hips don't drop, right arm, left leg down, change. Good job, Kareem. Down. When you do these exercises, you, you, you focus on your core. You make sure your core is stabilized. You make sure your core is strong. And you make sure you keep 
it relative to your running. The last drill, strength drill we're gonna do is gonna be hopping on this blue square. This is for advanced athletes. If you're new to this, don't try this. You can get one of these little square things, I forgot the name of it, and you can just strengthen your feet by jumping like this or like this. What I'm gonna do is give you an advanced level when your body's very, very strong and developed. What you wanna do is, one leg, you pick this leg up, make sure that leg's powerful. So if I was to, once I lift my left leg, I hit my right leg, this right leg is activated. My butt is activated. And I'm gonna jump, bring my right leg up, and land in the hop. It's important to land in a squat, because that activates all those little tiny ligaments and muscles here. Again, if you're not advanced, please do not do this and do not do it without a coach, but you can try to strengthen the, this part of your leg. So again, change legs. And you land in the squat. It activates everything from here to here. These are just four or five different strengthening exercises that anyone can do to help them with running. I'm Kadibas Robinson, and those are my pro tips for you.